Hello Henry, congratulations. You are the first student of the Emo Academy Online. The first student who rounded off a course and who wrote a publication that is now published on the website. Very good. I'd like to ask you a few questions about yourself, about the course and about the result. Maybe you can start with introducing yourself. Where do you live? Where do you work? And what kind of work do you do? And why did you choose for this course at the Emo Academy? Hello, I'm Henry Lepola. I work as an assistant manager in a group and family home for unaccompanied minor refugees in mid-Finland, in a town called Mänttä. My work consists of corporate development, putting our company guidelines up to date in terms of law, politics, societal demands, children's needs, and so forth. The other part of my work consists of being present in our daily activities. I try to be giving as much advice to our mentors as I can. My goal in our work is to put our company vision in reality every day. My second question is about the course. What did you do during the course? And how was the guidance of the emo consultant during the course? And what is, when you look back, your experience and your opinion about this way of learning. I chose to embark upon this IMO project from our company director's suggestion. And I, I'm really glad I did it. So I started with law texts, research studies, and inspirational literature. Um, I kept on calling to Terta with questions, maybe looking for a few answers also. However, I was provided with more questions. Lucky me. So we kept throwing questions at each other uh, on a regular basis. The whole project was completely different, di uh, uh, realized in a completely different manner than other projects that I, I've uh, embarked upon. Uh, my, I have a background in academic studies and sort of university discourse that uh, allows or um, disencourages or encourages uh, certain kinds of texts and certain certain kinds of uh, uh, sources. But this began strictly from practice. Observations, my background, working background, our company needs, our reach in our organizational space, recognizing that what we can affect, even the choice to write this in my project in Finnish became, uh, came out of the fact that I wanted it to be beneficial for Finnish society and companies that have been mushrooming this year uh, who work in the same branch maybe they can get something out of it 
something that I'm uh, I'm allowed to write write and uh, sort of build for myself. Maybe they can also get uh, the, the, the the companies that are in the same position, looking at the same kind of uh, scenery. Maybe they can get something out of it. And looking at it now from from this autumn's perspective, looking at the spring when I wrote my project, I look at it as, as an introduction. And I already knew at, at, during spring that it's going to be an introduction to the future. And my last question is about your publication. You wrote it in Finnish and just a few people in the world can read it. So maybe you can give a very short summary of what you wrote in this publication. I chose to write this uh, project or study in, in Finnish after long consideration. Uh, the, the choice was made on practical basis. The law context is, is in Finnish. Um, I think Finland has been facing in our branch big challenges uh, which can be helped to deal with by the project that I made. I hope, I hope that it helps someone. What my uh, project deals, deals with is on a textual basis, it, it deals with um, uh, international and national context in, in terms of so-called refugee crisis. It deals with um, our organizational space, our internal and external projects, how, how we have, um, how, our, how our, our space has adjusted to, uh, to changing needs uh, and demands come, coming from outside and inside also. And it deals with um, child adult encounters. For me, um, it on on a not on dex textual level, but is interpretational level. It deals mostly with this uh, idea of child adult encounters, which has which also, I think, reflects upon both the organizational space and the political context. There's been a sort of fear of, uh, the, the fear that has been attached to this refugee crisis or refugees as a, as a group. Um, one of my, my main points was to write out the, the sort of, minimalistic plain situation of of a group and family home space where a, where an adult mentor meets encounters a child and the organization a space provides the whole for looking at this from this horizontal, dynamic, changing, shifting, fluidity, organizational space, uh, ideology, to me it means that who can change? We have a duty to be responsive in changes, what it means to help the refugees to integrate with the society, what it means to be able to answer their special needs, what it means to be able to help with the, with the asylum seeking process. 
we have a chance to change. Children change through chances. This was the starting point of the future after the IMO project.